Last time on Persona. I think we're starting the final dungeon. I think we are starting the final dungeon. It's still confused on why we let him pass us like that. It's just it's just anime, dude. It's just literally just video game anime logic. Just it just that's how it worked. We needed a final dungeon, so so that's it. Because he literally just ran past us. Okay. So last time on Persona. Adachi. And then we came home. And now we're gonna we're gonna sleep and then tomorrow we're gonna hunt him down, I suppose. By the way, this isn't the final one. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding? It's back on. DFK AM. Thank you for the subscription. Hello. How are you doing? Have I seen you around here before? I don't know if I have. But thank you so much for the sub. That's awesome. Thank you. And there is the follow. Hello. That's a weird order to do things with. But thank you. Thanks for the prime. Yeah. All right. Uh, this isn't the final dungeon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How does that even- WAIT! Daddy's there! I was just chilling on nobody alive. And you came up. Okay, cool. I, I just randomly showed up. Well, hello! <laughs> Still, thank you so much for being around. Um, I'm just- And I just thought I'd give you a prime. That's awesome! Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Uh, and thank you so much for the Prime. We're just chilling. We're just gonna play some Persona. Well, that is the purpose of Nobody Live, <laughs> I suppose. This... It seems that you've come to the Bobot Room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. You get to see streamer with less than 10 viewers. Yeah, it's, it's a great feature that I... Totally new existed before you mentioned it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's an awesome feature. That is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? That's the thing. Yeah, I didn't know either. <laughs> I didn't know either. But it sounds awesome. Because I think I heard this statistic, and I don't even know if it's true, but I heard that like like, 90% of streams don't have more than, like, 20 viewers. Like, it's only the 10%, the ones that have, like, a nice viewer base. And by nice, I mean over 20. So, I'm just chilling there most of the time trying to spread love and happiness. You know what? That's awesome. That's awesome of you. Thank you so much. I, I would do, like, a heart with my hands, but I don't have hands right now. <laughs> so, just imagine that. Okay, Teddy, what's going on with you, buddy? Sensei? Why are you here? Oh shit, we're here too. He recognizes us that we're here. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know. I think it's a dream. I could ask you the same. Let's go with the third one. I see. How mysterious. By the way, have you played Persona 4? There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. <laughs> I have literally no clue what you're playing. Okay, awesome. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like... Okay, it's a JRPG. It's Persona. It's pretty popular. This is my first time playing it, and we're near the end of the game. So, <laughs> if you don't mind spoilers, you can say it. But, uh, yeah, that is a warning. We're, we're like 80 hours into this game, <laughs> so. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. I don't play games like that. Oh, okay, I see, I see. I honestly didn't play that many JRPGs until, like, two years ago. I played a lot of first-person shooters, I played, well, third-person shooters, I played some MOBAs. Like, most games that are common on PC, because I grew up with PC games, not any consoles. But, um, Japan started porting JRPGs to Steam lately, so I decided to give a couple of them a try. You seem to enjoy it, so that's good. 
Yeah, I've been having fun with these. Like, JRPG is a genre that I'm discovering. I haven't played that many. I, But my favorite is... Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 shit. Okay, $5. Thank you so much for the donation. Yay. You got the Terra Cruz notification going on. Thank you so much, dude. That's awesome. Hey. Hey, Lucy. Hello. How are you doing today? Um, we literally just went to sleep and now Teddy's here in the Velvet Room. And that's all that happened. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. DFK, if if you want like a not like a recommendation for a JRPG that doesn't feel like a JRPG, I would recommend the Yakuza franchise. <laughs> it's a it's a serious crime drama with a lot of goofy shit, and the combat is action oriented, like a third person brawler action game. It's kind of fun. Good, good. Nice to see Teddy from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to sleep and Teddy's here. All right, let's let's focus. We need to move forward. We need to hit plot. I was just a shadow in that world. I want to say for the first one. Just asking. Am I allowed to curse or say the F word? You can curse as much as you want. Don't worry about it. As long as it's not like a blatantly like racist or homophobic remark, you're cool. Because some streamers don't like that. You can you can say the F word as much as you want. You can say the fuck word as much as you want. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, everyone's worried, Teddy. You're always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. He did save Nanako. I don't know how he did it, but he did do that. Mostly play weird shit. What do you play? As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Thief Simulator. Do I know Thief Simulator? I don't think I do. I do know Borderlands 2. I played it a little bit. I didn't finish it. But I did play Borderlands 2. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. Like, literally? Did you just disappear? I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. Maybe this car? And then I was here. Okay. Teddy Astro projected into the car in the Velvet Room. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. So I just checked Borderlands 2, Deep Simulator, Among Us. I mean, Among Us is uh, the most popular game in the past, like, two years. I thought Teddy got isekai by a truck coon. Oh my god, he totally did. He got isekai by a truck. Big Castle. I don't know Big Castle. PC Build Simulator. See, I just build a PC. Instead of playing a simulator, I'll just do it in real life. Um. Anyway, Teddy's given us a sad backstory about him being a shadow. And not wanting to be one because he wanted people to like him. It's kind of... I, I kind of like that, actually. I did too for a customer. Got a 10% cut. <laughs> um, I just built my own PC, really. Like, because I don't have money to, like, hire someone to do it for me. So I had to learn how to do it. Because also buying PC parts is cheaper than buying a full PC. So... And that's how he came to look like this. Well, that was obvious when we first met him. I mean, I think that 
it was heavily implied, but this is the emotional version. Teddy is telling us, I wanted to forget because I wanted people to like me. That's different, you know? It's different when he says it like that. Uh, how can I see your specs? Oh, uh, I don't... Fuck. I never thought anyone would want to know my specs, so I didn't write them down, down there in the description. Um, I actually upgraded my PC like last year, like very recently. Um... I mean, it's not fantastic specs, because I live in Argentina, and money is difficult in Argentina, but, uh... Um... It's, uh, processors on, uh, Ryzen 5 2600. Uh... GPU is a GeForce GTX, uh, 1650 Super. Um... I don't remember the motherboard. I, I really don't remember. But those are the two imp most important ones, I suppose. I only have 8 gigs of RAM. I want to have 16. I want to buy another stick, but I'm broke, so. I get what you mean. I spent over 8k on my PC. That's a lot of money! Oh my god! Dude, I'm from Argentina. You have no idea how much that that is to me. 16 is understandable. Yeah, I'm running on 8, and it's asking for a lot out of my computer. I really am stupid. Where are you from in Argentina? Uh, Chaco. It's a province to the north of Argentina. <laughs> it's uh, really hot in here. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. Oh. There was no me to begin with. Can you cover up? What? What? I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. What, me? This? Myself? My own being? It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I really hope I'll that we can rescue Teddy somehow. Turn back to a regular shadow soon. I really hope we can like turn him into a real human and the game ends and he's out here hanging with us. I really hope we have to do that. Also, thank you. I actually do want to change the model a little bit, but I don't have the time to do it because I want to do a lot of things with the model. Oh, I want to yeah. add a lot of details that I can't. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Oh, he thinks Nanako is dead. Because he doesn't realize that she she survived. I really hope he stays human too. Yeah, I hope I hope so too. Like, listen, for as much as I don't like Teddy's like personality as a character, I I don't want him to have a bad ending, you know? I want him to be good. What makes you think I would go to heaven? <laughs> uh... Tell her. Bob is not so bad. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. I mean, Yosuke can burn in hell, but uh, Bob might hit heaven. Bob Tell hasn't really done much, many I'm things wrong. Really sorry. You saved her, Teddy. Huh? Really? How did I pull that off? You told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana chance. Bob has done the minimum. Bob, Bob has done no wrong, but he has done no right either. He has just been vibing the entire game. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. Please don't die in front of me. Please don't do that. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Um, I don't, I, I don't know. I really don't know what this is. A 
Uh huh. But I wonder why I met you here. Why are you in my head? That's a good question. What am I supposed to do now? Oh God. I don't know what- oh god, I'm worried. I'm worried about choices already. Is Teddy just buffs Shadow? Um, I already got my persona, so... I don't think so. Hmm. You can stay here. I don't know if there's any implications that are important if I choose either option. Yeah, it's just a joke, don't worry. Okay. I don't know what move on together means. I like the idea of being together. Like, yeah, you're my friend. We can overcome things together, but... Lots of people made a theory about that. Anyway. I'll see you around. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for dropping by. And thank you for dropping the sub and the donation. That it really means a lot. You're super nice. Uh, we have a Discord, if you're interested in it. Uh, there's a command for it. You don't have to join, but it's around. So yeah, uh, thank you for being around. Uh, see you some other time. Discord. Yay! We have Discord. Okay. Uh, take care. Uh, enjoy... I don't know if you were playing Borderlands or, or you were playing it right now or some other time, but yeah. Uh, enjoy your day. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's move on together. But... I don't know what to look for, or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. God, that's such a mood. That's just me. I'm just a pretty much love on Twitch. Yeah, you're awesome for doing that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, see you around. Bye-bye. Hi, Ferdacious. How are you doing today? I'll see you another day or another stream. Okay, bye bye. I stream. I've been streaming Danganronpa B3. I stream in a Pokemon Nuzlocke and uh, Yakuza 3. So that's what I'm currently streaming lately, besides Persona. God, I love this image. I love this thing. I'm taking a screenshot of it because this is just me. <laughs> I love this dialogue. And Digimon, just a little bit. I am gonna keep playing Digimon when I'm done with Persona. I think it's a fitting replacement. So, until I finish Persona, I'm not playing Digimon. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. New level! What level is it? 9, 10... It's 10. Max star. Yay. What persona do we get from the maximum star? Can I get star platinum? Can that be my persona? Hello. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Hello, the light bearer. Bearer, bearer, ah! <laughs> Teddy's Court of Heart has affected his persona as well. Oh yeah, his persona is gonna change. Oh no. Or will it? Shouldn't it change, like, visually too? Triple evasion against electricity. I mean, that sounds good. I'm not gonna use it, but... But I have to get going. Oh no. Where are this you going? Is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Do I have a say on this? Goodbye, Sensei. Please don't die. Where do you guys come from? Before you know it, Ted is gone, and Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows 
mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. Okay, Igor is confirming that Teddy does have an ego, and he's not just a shadow. If only he could hear that. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. I really hope that's not the end of Teddy. Very interesting. Can you two leave so me and Marie have our moment together? Yeah, before the game ends. Can I have that? Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. Um. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. I imagine the car just starts drifting. <laughs> Initial D starts playing. Overbeat. Now it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. <laughs> Wait, who's driving? Who could be driving? That's a good question. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Teddy's driving. I can't see! Juness, Electronics Department. Okay, we're all just here. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? <laughs> Maybe Nanako was driving all along? Yes. Yes, she was. Wait, look at the background. What is that in the background? There's a picture of like a couple penguins talking to each other. What does that say? Can I get a translation on the penguins? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. All right. New dungeon. <sighs> Whoa. Look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the? There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. I hope we don't have to do another Does investigation. This, mean both this world and ours are getting messed up. Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. I wonder what's going to happen. Wait, did I skip a line? And I hear more people are falling ill because of the fog. Yeah, I skipped though. I'm sorry. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Okay. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say what for sure. What if Teddy is the here. final boss? And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. I mean, I don't think so because we already fought the Shadow Teddy or whatever. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? But, like, I can imagine a future where we have to, like, defeat Teddy in order to save him. Again! Teddy will save everyone suddenly. <laughs> this place... Wait, what the fuck are we watching now? Is this a flashback? What? Uh, I see. I came back. Fucking cow! But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. What's happening? Um, what is happening? Nana-chan. I'm so sorry. She's clearly alive! My favorite part about this scene is the fact that 
Teddy was too stupid to know that <laughs> that the beeping meant that she was alive. So he was like, oh my god, I couldn't save her. Meanwhile, the machine is clearly telling him that she's alive. But he doesn't know that. Remember, this is a dumb anime game. It is. I heard... your voice. You said... hang in there. I heard... my big bro... and... everyone else, too. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! Doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. <laughs> Is that your professional diagnosis, doctor? Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs, too. <laughs> Teddy just grabs some megaphone and just starts screaming. Nanachan! Wake up! Everyone. These anime doctors. But to be fair, anime doctors are very good when the setting is anime. <laughs> When it comes to anime characters and anime diseases and anime plots, anime doctors are pretty useful for what they're supposed to do. Which is essentially just say, I have no idea how she survived, but she did. It must be because of your combined spirit. By the way, Risa was supposed to be a female delinquent. What the fuck? Do I have concept art for that shit? No, fuck this. Fuck this, no. Fuck the game. Reset, P4, concept art. Do we? No, this is not her fucking... Maybe, maybe he did it. I don't see any fem female delinquent Reese's around. I'm so fucking disappointed by this. Why did you have to tell me that? Why did you have to tell me that? Okay, I see one that maybe looks like maybe she could have maybe been a delinquent. I don't know if it's her, or if it's like the other like bitch chick that we met, that we never hung out with. Sorry. I'm seeing- okay, Chrome. Where is Chrome? I'm gonna put it on screen. Chrome. So this art, right? This art. This one? This girl? I don't know if you can see my mouse, actually. But the girl to the right, with the messy hair, it looks like maybe that would have been like a proto version of Rise, and maybe she would have been more on the delinquent side because she looks messy and not proper. But maybe not. Fuck, I'm just disappointed now. I, I imagine Rise as like a Sukeban. I prefer idols to delinquents. We have enough with Kenji. No, I want my entire cast of characters to be a delinquent. I want everyone to have the delinquent style. It's not even about the personality, even though the personality slaps. It's about the style. I love the Japanese delinquent aesthetic. I love it so much. Kanji slaps because he has to he has the jacket that he's not wearing. It's just on top of him like a cape. I love that so much. And I love Suke Vans as well. With like the really long skirts, some of them are carrying like a stick, like a sword, like a wooden katana. So fucking good. That's her. Uh, anyway, back to anime. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. How did you get in here to, to begin with? Like, how the f Is the doctor not gonna question how the fuck is Teddy here? Teddy literally being, materialized into this room. I can change is unknown too. Oh my god, Teddy's gonna learn as a person because of what just happened. Because the doctor said the word unknown, Teddy's gonna be like... I understand. Not knowing is normal. So all I have to do 
is make them not unknown. Nanachan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nanachan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nanachan? There we go. Now, now it's gonna change. I was hoping for that. What is it gonna look like? What the fuck? Honestly, I like it. What the fuck am I looking at? It's like a really cartoony plane. Honestly, better than before. It's so weird looking, but I kind of like it. Kintoki Doji has been transfigured into Kamui. Right. Sorry, I hate I need it. To get back to the others. I mean, I hated the previous one. So. Hang in there, Nanachan. I'll be back soon. I think Ted is literally gonna walk in and save the day. He's gonna walk in and everyone's gonna be like, we don't know what to do. And then Teddy walks in and he's like, I know where to go! It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Yeah, I may prefer, but it's still not great. That's how I feel. Rizuchan! If only Teddy was with us. If Did only who his nose was is with us! Practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. <laughs> I wish Teddy was here. He can't do anything, but I like the moral support. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm alright. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. The talking ill about him but giving him compliments. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Okay. So we were here for like... 10 hours. And no progress was made. Cool. It's almost like every stream that I make. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! Let me grind. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless! Teddy? What's up? You little, where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. Look at him waddle over here. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! <laughs> You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> I love the massive hug. <laughs> because Teddy's so big, you need to really open your arms for it. Um... Say, Chan, are you faking? No, stupid. S sorry, I want to help you all again. Do not defeat the bot early, okay? Uh, I, I don't know if I can do that. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. Do not make the same mistake as me. What do you mean by that? I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. Sorry, I hit the mic for a second. I wanted to tell you all. Okay. Remember what I told you. What? You listen to Teddy's confession since you finally understand who he really is. That he was only a shadow. After defeating Adachi, 
What did you tell me? Fuck, I don't remember anything. The only thing I remember is that you told me that there is a there is like an ending where you can be his accomplice if you max out his friendship or whatever. But I don't remember anything else. <laughs> oh. And that though he was at its wits end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. They will skip tons of deals for you to do social links. Um, oh yeah, you said that it, after you defeat the dungeon, you the game will skip like a ton of days. So if I don't... Okay, so what you're saying is that I should like hit to the... Get to the door of the final boss. And then just leave, do social links for a couple days, and then come back. Can I do social links in that when that is happening? Because I need to max out Chie. And I don't think I can. Okay. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end. I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. I mean, that is true. Huh? What are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow! So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. <laughs> uh, I'm the same as humans i love how how do i put this i i love how simple the reasoning is as dumb teenagers but that's kind of what is required here because ted is like having an existential crisis and everyone around him is like yeah it doesn't matter and he's like wait doesn't matter no it doesn't you're real wait i'm real Oh, fuck! You keep trying to figure out who you are. Just like all of us here. <laughs> Someone give him a, a DNA. And he can grow or is as stuck as a teen. That's a good question. Like, we don't know how the fuck his real body that he made works. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? That's a good cry. Good job to the voice actor. Thank you! I'm so glad I met you guys! The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with too, right? I mean, Yosuke's right. Need to test something for me. Okay, see you, see you in a bit. Hug him. Can I hug him? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Isn't that just you, senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. 
Jeez, stop crying, will you? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. But we are not! High five, Lucy. Hmm. But you Honestly, it would have been him. really funny. If you can't if it find someone been like that, <laughs> I don't think I can help you. I almost was hoping that it wouldn't be, because it would be really funny. What about me? I mean, you were playing the game before we got there. Were you calling Adachi sus the entire time before it? And because I don't remember. Because I know that you got there way before I did. Yes. Okay, then. High five to you, too. I'm sorry. I don't remember, okay? Suspecting him from the start, too. Okay, cool. I have, like, two weeks worth of memory in my head. Anything past that, I don't remember. We did well. Yeah, triple high five. That's like a high 15. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. <laughs> well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. You know what? Kanji has the right idea. He's speaking the truth. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Is that going to be his nickname now? You've taken another step towards the truth. Investigation, uh, Judgment 6. Yeah. Since you start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home for today. I wonder if we're gonna be like several days before we can find Adachi. Because we do need to level up the judgment thing to 10. Because it's like story based, so. Nope, okay. Maybe we will judge Adachi a lot. <laughs> We're gonna have a moment where we talk to him, and every time we choose a dialogue option, it's gonna level up judgment. I'll give it a try, but... What a beautiful day. Yeah, it's foggy. <laughs> if Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried-up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Hmm. I... Do smell a dachi baby in here. Dachi but the baby fog is completely covering up his scent. Why do you call him a dachi baby? That has to be like a translation thing. That has to be like a localization thing. Like he made he said something that makes more sense in Japanese, and then they kind of localized it, but it made no sense in English. Teddy, you can't do it either. When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. I've been there, bro. I've been there. Pretty girls looking at you. You're like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I got to come through now. This is my time to shine. <laughs> Have you never been under pressure? You're like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I got to do something now. People are watching. something wait he actually he's going super saiyan no <laughs> i'm just a very anxious person well i was i was more anxious back when i was like a teenager than i am now now i feel like i kind of care less but back in the day i was like super under high pressure in order to like perform well Teddy? Okay, Teddy. What's your power level? Hey, quit wandering around. 
You better not flake out on us again. Follow him. Follow the bear. Follow the bear. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? It, um. It's something. How do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. Okay, we found something. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Okay. When we first... where was that? <sighs> did we come from the same TV? I think we did, huh? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Oh yeah, fuck, I remember. I remember the random room that we saw that one time at the very beginning. It had like posters and shit. Yep, there's someone there. Wasn't there like a rope and a chair or something too? Teddy, you really are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. Sense Sensei. I thought he stuttered, but no, that's just a line. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? I'm with Chie on this one. I was totally like, oh yeah, I forgot that that happened. And then Yosuke's like, it didn't happen. And I'm like, well, I don't remember, so. <laughs> so whatever anyone says, I'll believe it. I don't remember. But if he did, in fact, okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Mark Follow the place. Me, the master of fuzzy logic. If he did, in fact, mark the place by peeing on it, we have Yosuke's bladder to thank for finding a dachi. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. It did not happen. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. Yukiko is great. A cheerful mood of returning to the group thanks to Teddy. I know we take another step towards the truth. Judgment 7. Man, we're just, we're just getting levels for Judgment, aren't we? We're just getting free levels in Judgment. Oh yeah, this fucked up room. That damn bitch. Mm. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Okay. Who's there? Who do you think? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Look at that face! Okay, this is the question. Is this the real Adachi, or is it like Shadow Adachi? Um... That face, though. It is! Like, that face. What the fuck? An ad. I can't hear Adachi. Oh no, the ads! Shit. Fuck. Oh, I can... I can... Are you back? <laughs> I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. There we go. It's okay. Nothing happened. We're just talking about his face. Look at that expression. Is this the real Adachi or is it Shadow Adachi? That's my question. I'm sorry about the ad. I have, like, no control over it. I don't know what to say. I don't know if any of these options matter. 
I mean, can we get a proper confession? Can we get a proper confession, Adachi? It doesn't. You're getting on my nerves, kid. Answer the question. Okay, here's another question. Does he have a gun? <laughs> is he a, if he has a gun, then 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 the situation is a little bit different. <laughs> because he has the mo the most biggest magical spell of any of them, which is gun. Gun is essentially an instant kill spell. Okay? It's like a seven level spell. <laughs> it's just like move a finger, you're dead. It's a pretty powerful spell, gun. Well, Nyoto has a gun. Does Nyoto have a gun? Nyoto's like 16! I know she's like a police consultant, but she's only like a private detective. I don't think private detectives are allowed to carry guns. Like, nobody in Japan is allowed to carry guns other than real police officers. Naoto is not. Did you or did you not throw Ms. Yamano into the TV? You laugh. <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? Fuck you, bro. What was the situation, Adachi? Can you explain? Can you elaborate a little bit? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Who are you? It's a big TV. Oh my god. Is it actually like a creepy admirer? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? Like, yeah, who the fuck are you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. Okay, what the... Oh my god. Arachi's a simp! Arachi is one of those internet weirdos that slide into your DMs on Instagram and they think that you're some kind of like idol and that you owe them like anything and then you disappoint them and he's like, I'll fucking kill you. You ruin my fantasy. Is that what it is? Because, like, nowadays, when the internet, it's, like, even more fucked up. It's, like, if you're someone that even has, like, some kind of, like, following, if you're some kind of popular, like, icon, people will be weird trying to interact with you. To call the mensos or something like that? Yeah. Yes, but no, but yes. It wouldn't be a stretch to call Adachi an insult, though. I think. I know what an insult is. I just don't know if it applies. But it could be. I mean, an insult is one of those people that are angry at a woman because they don't get laid. And they think it's their fault. Like, the woman's fault instead of his fault. Like, I'm perfect, but no woman wants to come for me. They always go for the jocks. Instead of paying attention to me, the nice guy. Those are insults. I don't know if Adachi is an insult, but it could be. But he's one of those people that are weird towards celebrities. He's one of those, like, people that would stalk celebrities. And they have, like, some kind of fantasy with them. And then when they disappoint them, they go like, I'll fucking kill you. What's wrong with you? A lot, apparently. Don't make me call for help. You should start screaming. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god, Adachi. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. What are you going to do? Yeet. No. Ah! 
Well, she fell in. Fucking what? Were you not expecting that? <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Oh, okay. So he knew about the TV world, but we never tried to go inside. He's just like peek through it, probably. What? Yeet. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. Power? I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano. I said that when I want to send this part. What? Power thing? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. <laughs> Screenshot. Put that on a wall. I'm a very sincere fellow. Yeet! Yeah, yeet. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. It actually is actually one of those like weirdos online. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. Yep. Now that he's acting sassy, he sounds so much like Hajime. What is the voice actor? Can we check that? Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. <laughs> he doesn't even remember who the fuck he was. He doesn't even remember her name. Fuck it, she didn't matter. The voice actor is Hajime's. Okay. There you go. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What? Okay, Twitch is weird. What? Autocorrect? What happened with Saki? What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? We're really close. We'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. What the fuck? Is it just me or is the stream lagging? Um, I dropped 79 frames at some point, which I don't think it's a lot, so I think it's you. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. Bro, she's 16! Or whatever. <laughs> Yeet! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? Yeah, Adachi's an incel. Adachi's actually an incel. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. No lagging for me, okay. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. Oh my god, okay. We're learning a lot about this dude. Is, so, does this mean that he's just pretending to be bad at his job? Is he just pretending to be kind of a dumb goofball? He's actually like super smart. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. Or maybe that's just how he feels about himself. Maybe he's not capable. But he just likes to think himself as if he was. Oh, I'm the best, but he sucks. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. So when he says this power... Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. Oh my god. So when he says this power, does he mean the ability to just yeet people into TVs? Or did he get an actual persona? That's what I'm wondering. Okay. 
the fact that he's like get on your knees and beg maybe i'll let you out it really sounds like he's getting off on the idea of having power over others so there you go we're learning something about adachi <laughs> yeah like that'll happen <laughs> oh my god as if i'd walk into a death trap like that It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. A council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Bro? 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 Shut the hell up! Bro. You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Does this option matter? I mean, did he kill anyone else? I don't think he did. No. He tricked Namatame. Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. <laughs> Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that, then. Well, then, there you go. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know? Okay, how did this go? I like that this is the flashback episode. Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san... Do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? <laughs> Like, you could shelter her somewhere, some place where no one could find her. Oh my god. Yo, Namatame, did you forget to mention this? Not that it matters. He already... Well, no, it would actually have mattered. Because honestly, he could have just told us. Some police officer that answered the phone suggested that I should do this. And that would have, like, immediately told us that he was a dachi. Immediately. Even if he didn't know who it was, we would know. Not that it was difficult for us, let's be honest, but... Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. He's like encouraging him and everything. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. And this man was so unhinged that... Like, he... Okay, so he was like so fucked up that he didn't actually think about how fucked up he was that <laughs> police officer suggested that. Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! So Adachi was to blame. I mean, Adachi's to blame for everything. Like... All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. Thanks, Adachi, we got the sick powers. <laughs> that, that would be the fun part, is that he's like, Oh my god, it was so funny! I enjoyed so much seeing what would happen! And then he goes like, yeah, thanks, Adachi. And then they all summon their personas. Like, the room explodes because all the personas are so big. And then Adachi's like, oh, okay, I didn't think about that. But this is so... This is kind of cool. It's the idea that the real culprit didn't actually really do much. He only 
position things into place so that then the rest of the game would develop between two like hero parties he didn't actually do shit after after saki honestly <laughs> you got to be shitting me why what reasons could you have for doing that because i wanted to see what would happen it was funny <laughs> reasons none really there you go i could do it that's all and it was fun i guess that's my reason there you go what's fun about this is that um without knowing that adachi was the culprit like i think i had a conversation with i think it was lucy where we were talking about what kind of like bad guy would Adachi be if he was actually the culprit and both of us thought that it would be exactly this he would be like i don't know i didn't care i would just do it for fun you know like he was like the complete psychopath i did not predict the insult angle though the insult angle i was not expecting at all people just for the fun of it yeah it was funny come on all i did was put people in here i didn't murder them i got it right though in what sense in i don't remember what you I did said most of it i had nothing to do with any of you you're just dodging the blame yeah then how would you prove it he put people inside tvs <laughs> you think the police are that stupid <laughs> fucking just kill this guy <laughs> A jerkwad. Fucking kill him. There you go. One of my thousand random guesses is said that the real culprit was in love with the reporter and he was angry about the affair. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I suppose he did say that maybe. Okay. That's a random pull that I guess it worked. Yeah, but like he wasn't even angry about the... He wasn't angry... Okay. Yeah. A little bit, but no. Okay. So it's not that he was angry that she had an affair and therefore had no chances with the person is that he was angry that she had an affair and then that she wasn't like pure or whatever because if she has an affair that means that she's already married right so it wasn't the marriage what put him off it was the fact that she wasn't like quote unquote good I didn't guess hates woman enough. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Okay, another flashback. I heard laughing, what's up? It's nothing, just Lucy's comment was really funny. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I hit him with one of those, like... Men in black, forgetting things. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. Oh, okay. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kuba kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back wow. when he didn't know enough to issue a search warrant. Wow, so Kubo killed Moroka. And then he was like, oh shit, I killed someone. And then he turned himself over to the police. And then Adachi was like, oh shit, this could be fun. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. 
so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? <laughs> but it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatama would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. This fucking dude. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? Exactly. You gotta have some excitement in life. Don't you agree? This fucking guy. But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> it this is all a game to you. Yes. This entire sequence is just like Adachi confesses to everything he did in the game. This is all it is. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki Senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. Yeah, but like, do we know why? The two worlds will merge soon, and then there will be no difference, no sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. Okay then, this is Shadow Adachi. But this guy feels different from an ordinary Shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. <laughs> so he's adaching like complete control of his shadow? Because he's so fucked up? I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. That could be it. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. <laughs> there we go. Okay. The shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Okay. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! It's not gonna... yeah. What a jump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Well, that was a info dump. Get back here, you! Oh. That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. He called Kenji a chump. Serious? Yeah, we're gonna beat his ass. The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. It's almost like he's the final boss. He got a persona. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really going to happen? Fair bet. Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's going to turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? And the rest of Japan just forgets the town existed? Yeah, probably. It becomes like a cursed ghost town. 
No more. No yeah. more. No it's about more. Time we finish this. No more. I don't want to feel this way ever again. What about the world? Is it just the town or is it the full world? A Whoa. Path we can take now. That that's wacky. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. It can spread, right? I don't know about the logistics of the fog world. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. I love the energy. By pulling all your strength, the path to the truth has been open. Secrets of truth. Eight? Eight? Eight. Okay, cool. Chie, I agree. Exactly. Okay, do I get an option or something? Okay, no. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. <coughs> by the, before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. Your resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. Oh, this is different too. Uh, depending on how much... Do you know Adachi? Is that it? This sounds like the game is telling me, okay, you have like... You have like five months to finish this dungeon. Is that what it is? Wait, no. What month are we in? No, shit. We have like... Uh, we have like 24 days. Actually. It's December, isn't it? Sorry. Fun fact. In... I don't know if this is the way in Spain as well. But at least in Latin America, our calendars use days first and months second instead of month first and day second, which sounds really stupid. Why would you go month, day, and then year? You should go day, month, and then year. It's an escalation thing, right? Why would you go month first? That's news to me. Why would you go month first? It's so fucking confusing. Here, everyone does it however they want, which is a big problem. That sounds really stupid, honestly. Thanks for letting me know. I mean, you... It doesn't really matter to you. You live in US, whatever. Everyone adjusts by your system. But when you're someone like me, and you consume media that come from everywhere around the world, you never know what the fuck the order of the fucking calendar is. And if my entire life I've been writing day, month, year, and then I start consuming things that come from the US or the English speaking world, and I see month, day, year, I have it like a little stroke. And I have to like readjust and try to process what's happening. It sounds really awful for Spain, by the way. Why would you just choose at random which one you want to do? 